Hello everybody, this is Dave from Days Acrylic Pouring. Um, guess what day it is? I've been talking about it for a while. Um, today is resin day. So that's what we're doing. I guess you could probably have tell uh, or seen from the uh, thumbnail that uh, we're going to be washing our paintings today. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing to uh, start off with. So we have to get the silicone um, and the oils that might have come off of your hands from touching it. We have to get that stuff off there. But we have to make sure that these paintings stay dry or are, are completely dry before we attempt this. Otherwise, we're going to mess up our paintings. So I have waited uh, a good amount of time and my paintings are completed. Um, today I am going to do two paintings. Um, I'm going to wash two paintings, excuse me. So let me bring you down here so you can see what we got going on. pour that uh, I have a video on and this is a one that I do not have a video on it is a, a copper uh, like rainstorm I don't have a video on this one but I'm going to be washing both of these because I don't know if you can tell with this one with the light hitting it that it definitely has a little bit of uh, oil on there and that one uh, it actually has the coconut milk on it so that's uh, something that I want to get off of there all right, so I have my bowl here with warm water, and to this I have added Dawn dish detergent. I'm going to move you up just a little bit here. You're a little farther down than I want you to be. All right, so we have our Dawn dish detergent, and that's what is mixed in here with the water, probably about half a teaspoon. Okay, get my little whisk here and stir that a little bit up. Now this recipe, I am not going to claim this recipe. This is a recipe that I saw on Olga Sorby, or excuse me, Sorby, Olga Sobe's uh, channel, uh, and I've used it, and it works very well. It is uh, Windex and isopropyl alcohol mixed in with this. So we're going to give a little bit of Windex spray in there, and a little bit of alcohol. Yeah, I had to try this out to make sure that it uh, works as well as it shows, that she shows it does. So, get some paper towel. And I'm going to get that a little bit wet. Okay, let's move this over here. Bring in my canvas. And we are going to gently wipe it down. And the reason that we are cleaning these canvases is to get all the oils off of here before we resin them. And you can see that it's going to pull a little bit of pigment off of your canvas. That's fine. It's expected. But we want to make sure that this canvas is clean before we put resin on it so that the oils from the uh, silicone or whatever else that you may have used on here do not interfere with the uh, resin actually creating a good seal on your painting. See, we're getting a little bit of green right here too, so make sure you get your edges too if you're going to let it drip over the sides, which I am. shut that thing off and I forgot to do it this time. Alright, so we are just gently pushing down on it and wiping it down. You want to make sure that you actually move that water. I kind of pinch it a little bit to move it down 
into the drier areas. I'm not completely soaking this paper towel. I don't want to put, I just don't want to just dump the water on here. But yeah, we're just going to wipe it down. Okay. Now, also remember that if you have used school glue in your painting, um, school glue actually will is it, school glue is water based, so it will be, get soft when added when water is added to it again. Um, whereas the Elmer's glue wall does not, so you want to make sure that if you are going to wash your paintings that you are very careful and don't add a lot of water to them if you have used school glue. And as you can tell, almost all of that sheen is gone. So this one is done. I'm going to let that dry for about an hour before I even start. So that's where we're going to be at. All right, here's my next one. Uh, this one's the copper rain shower that we talked about. And it is a swipe. It was actually um, supposed to be something else that didn't turn out quite the way I wanted to. So I grabbed the good old copper and gave it a swipe and came out beautiful. Alright. See I'm getting a little bit of purple there. Not much, but just a little bit of purple. So I'm going to work that down into paper towel. see there we got quite a bit of pigment coming off of there from several colors so that's fine a lot of the uh, paint is still on here 99.99 percent of the paint is still on here so we are good to go all right one more time oh wait I'm going to give it a little bit more Windex and a little bit more alcohol because they tend to uh, vaporize a little bit out of there from what I was told. So let's work that down. Alright. Now this is actually my very first painting that I am washing that has had the coconut milk um, oil that uh, I was using in one of my videos. Uh, and I'll show you this stuff right here. This is a great cell activator. It works very well for make creating cells. So that's what I was using on this one. So this is my very first painting that I am washing that has had that on there. So I was nervous about this one, but it's looking good and it's holding fast. So that is definitely a plus. Still see a, a bit more sheen on there, so we are going to wash it one more time. I'll tell you, I was so nervous washing my paintings for the first time. Oh my goodness, trying to get the oils off of them. I was so, so nervous because I was thinking that I was going to pull some of the paint off and that um, it might have started flaking, the water might have gone under the uh, painting and caused it to crack. I, I didn't know what was going to happen. But it turns out pretty well. Alright, so 
now we're going to dry this one off. so this will probably be another project that I'm going to um, be resining very shortly. But I had to get that Hunter one done for my friend and to put in their baby's room. And I wanted to get it resined for them. And remember that sheen that we had on there? Now the only sheen that we have is the copper. So it turned out real good. All right. So there again, we are going to let that sit for about an hour or so, so that it can completely dry. Um, and that way there's no water residual left on the canvas, on the paint or anything before we start pouring this resin on here. So see in about an hour, we should be doing that resin right about then. All right, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope this was very informative for you. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit that button below and subscribe so that we can get as many videos out there and help as many people as we can. Thanks very much for watching, and again, pour on.